Good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing well. It was good to see so many of you yesterday, and I'll see another group today. A couple, lots of groups, actually. Um, so I have a story to read for, to you today. Um, we're going to go over our Whiskey Frisky poem, which is about the squirrels in the fall. And I have a funny story for you. Um, where I live, there's a lots of cedar trees and just a forest behind my house and um, I was looking out my window and I saw two squirrels and they were J -j 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 -j, and they were getting all kind of sassy with a blue jay and the blue jay kept hopping around them and then he'd go over to a tree and then he'd kind of steal something from them and they go J -j 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 -j. so when I saw that it made me think of our poem Whiskey Frisky so we're gonna um, do that I have a book called Owen. Um, last week I read to you um, Chester's Way and Owen is a friend of Chester and we'll meet another friend named Wendell and um, they have they're all, they all know each other these little mice and so I really love those stories. So first what I want you to do is kind of massage your ears, give yourself a little rub like this, back and forth and stretch your arms out, stretch your arms over, over, touch your toes, do whatever you can to get stretched. Um, also attached to this video will be um, the Itsy Bitsy Spider and um, some other songs that you guys can move around to. Actually just that song, just that one song, but you will have other songs with your spider unit that were um, we started yesterday. So let's start with Whiskey Frisky, and um, this is such a fun poem. I'm gonna hold it like this and read it because you're gonna see it backwards. So um, here we go. Whiskey Frisky Hippity Hop, up he goes to the, to the tree top. Whirly, twirly, round and round, he scampers down to the ground. Burly, curly, what a tail! Tall as a feather, broad as a sail. Where's his supper? In the shell. Snap, cracky, out it fell. So there's the little squirrel looking for um, all the nuts that he can gather up and go take to his tree or his hollow log or wherever he sleeps and then he can have a little store pile of um, a stockpile of nuts so if he wakes up from sleeping he'll have those to eat so why don't you if you have this you could read it with somebody next to you you could pause me and practice it and then I want you to look for squirrels today um, they're really fun to watch and they're really fun to um, just just sit and they're just silly little guys. So um, I hope you enjoy that. And then I'm going to read Owen to you. So Owen, and this is by Kevin Hanks, and this is um, part of his mouse book series. So there's um, A Weekend with Wendell, which I'm going to read to you for tomorrow, and we read Chrysanthemum and um, Chester's Way, which I read last week. Owen had a fuzzy yellow blanket. He had it since he was a baby. He loved it with all of his heart. Fuzzy goes where I go, said Owen, and Fuzzy did. Upstairs, downstairs, in between, inside, outside, upside down. Fuzzy likes what I like, said Owen, and Fuzzy did. Orange juice, grape juice, chocolate milk, ice cream, peanut butter, and applesauce cake. So he got all dirty. Some of you might have been reading The Nuffle Bunny. This kind of reminds me of that book um, when the little girl... She loves her blanket so much, and then it gets washed. Isn't he getting a little old to be carrying that thing around? Asked Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of the blanket fairy? Owen's parents hadn't. Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. That night, Owen's parents told Owen to put Fuzzy under his pillow. In the morning, Fuzzy would be gone, but the blanket fairy would leave an absolutely wonderful, positively perfect, especially terrific big boy gift in its place. And look at his face, you guys. Does he look like he really wants to give his blanket to the blanket fairy? Does it look like he thinks that's a good idea? Owen stuffed Fuzzy inside his pajama pants and went to sleep. No blanket fairy, said Owen in the morning. No kidding, said Owen's mother. No wonder, said Owen's father. So he outsmarted that blanket fairy. Is not going to let anybody take his blanket. Fuzzy's dirty, said Owen's mother. 
Fuzzy's torn and ratty, said Owen's father. No, said Owen. Fuzzy is perfect. And Fuzzy was. Fuzzy played Captain Plunger with Owen. Ooh. Fuzzy helped Owen become invisible. Oh, no wonder his mother and father want it to be washed. He plays with that blanket when he plays in the toilet. And then he takes it to the dinner table. Ooh, that's a little go gross. And Fuzzy was essential when it came to nail clippings and haircuts and trips to the dentist. Can't we be, can't be a baby forever, said Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of the vinegar trick? Owen's parents hadn't. Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. Hmm, the vinegar trick. When Owen wasn't looking, his father dipped Owen's favorite corner of Fuzzy into a jar of vinegar. Owen sniffed it and smelled it and sniffed it. He picked a new favorite corner. Then he rubbed the smelly corner all around his sandbox, buried it in the garden, and dug it up again. Good as new, said Owen. Fuzzy wasn't fuzzy anymore, but Owen didn't mind. He carried it and wore it and dragged it. And this But his mother and father still didn't know what to do. Then Mrs. Tweezers had an idea. Oh, now look. What did they do with the blanket? Now Owen carries one of his not-so-fuzzy handkerchiefs with him wherever he goes. So, he was really, they figured out a really great solution for that. He couldn't take that blanket everywhere, but he could make little handkerchiefs out of it and keep it in his pocket, keep it in his backpack, or take it wherever he goes. So I'm wondering, have you ever had something so special to you and you wanted to take it everywhere, but sometimes it just didn't work out? Did you have a problem like Owen had a problem? Did you have a solution or did you end up just taking your item wherever it went? And maybe you still have that item and it's something that um, is just really special to you and something that you don't want to give up. We had a girl in our class a few years ago, and she had a little duck. And um, in kindergarten and first grade, she took it and then went to school, and she had it everywhere. It was part of our class. But then in second grade, they had to come up with an idea because she felt uncomfortable taking it to school then. So I, I think the plan was to have um, the little friend in the backpack. So it was still there, but just not out and about like he had been in first grade and kindergarten. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to check our zones. We're going to close our eyes, take a deep breath, and say, how do I feel today? Am I feeling green? Am I feeling like I'm just relaxed and easygoing? Am I feeling a little blue, a little tired, a little like I have a sniffle or two? Do I feel like overly excited? Or are you in the red zone? And what can you do? Tell Tell somebody next to you, what can you do if you're in one of those zones that it's okay to be in, but you don't want to stay in there because it doesn't feel great. Okay, I hope you guys have a good day. I look forward to seeing all of you who I have in groups later. And, um, yeah, enjoy the poem, practice it, and we'll talk to you later. See you later. Bye-bye.